my niggas live rich as fuck. All my niggas look rich as fuck. Look at you. Look at you. Oh hell no. Man. All these East End girls like the same to me. All these West End girls like the same to me. But I still fall in love. I just fall in love. I'm so foolish. I need to find out and go experience some new shit. But I'm nuts in the city. Yeah, I'm stuck in the city. All my Beyonce, I'm so crazy in love with the city. And all them day one boys that I run with be with me. I cut off quick if any fucker acting shifty. No time for the shakiness. I just run quick on my own two. If you ain't down with the click, homie, fuck you. Sauce and competition, give your whole crew to run through. It should sound like I be on a 410 highway with my squad. Baby, you just got the greatest hits, oh lord. Let me scoop you in and bust it up a card. Take you to Soto, then the crib and fuck you hard. Treat you more than just a bra, baby. Oh, baby. Baby, let me take you up one now. Yo, what's going on YouTube? Jump man Chris here. We're coming back at y'all with another vid. What we have here today? Bam! That's right. These are the highlighter uh, zebras or the McChickens or whatever you want to call these dang on things. But all I want to say is, man, these things are pretty fresh. I know this video, this review is coming out kind of late. These came out in November. But I finally got my hands on these. I got these from GOAT. And I finally just got a price to where I was comfortable with paying. Yes, I paid for resale price and I did pay for a little bit. Still a little expensive, but I was comfortable with the price that I was uh, paying for. And the price did drop on these things, guys. The big hype on these things was is just mainly because these were supposed to be the most rarest Yeezys to date. And if you can tell from the... Uh, the Yeezy Mafia uh, chart. These are actually still the rarest Yeezys uh, today. But does that mean these the resale is the highest? No. Why? It's mainly not many people are really feeling the this colorway. This colorway is pretty cray cray. I personally like this colorway. I think these things are crazy. These are definitely some neck breakers and some head, some head turners, guys. But will the price creep up on these things eventually? Maybe about a year or two eventually, because they're they are really rare. Unless, do you guys think that these things are going to re-release? I don't know. But, not much to say about these things, guys. I mean, these are v the V2s. Seen them once, seen them all. Uh, there's certain things on these things that's pretty cray-cray. I mean, it has the blue uh, zebra stripes on these things. And these are, like, the highlighter yellow. And instead of here, I thought this was red. But instead, this, if you guys can really see, this is kind of like a reddish-orange. The, the, the wording here. As you can see on the pull tab, the color here, I thought it was red as well. But apparently, these things are, like, a peachy orange. If you guys look through the dots on here on the on the pull tab, yeah, you got your 3M stripes in the back here. Uh, you got your zebra design all throughout the shoe. This prime on the prime net, and yes, throughout the whole shoe, yes, it does have this highlighter, crazy bright yellow shoe. That is basically what makes the shoe very that pops pretty crazy. The zebra design is in is in that that blue color right here. But the one thing a lot of people did not like about, and one thing I did not like about, really, I'll, I'll still say, I do not like the gum sole. I don't know. It, it, it does give it a little something, but I just feel like it's, man, I don't know, man. Like, the, the gum sole kind of threw it off for me. It looked kind of cray-cray. That's, that's a running joke, I guess. This is the McChicken here, and this is the McChicken wrapper, I'm guessing. So, I don't know. I, I, I kind of wish they didn't do the gum sole, but... Anyway guys, uh, don't worry guys, I will be doing a real versus fake video on these things guys Because I do have, you know, a Fufu pair that if you guys seen my, I picked up the blue tents I did uh, I was wearing the Fufus in public, just see some people's reaction And they're pretty close guys um, Are they worth the price for what they are? Mm, no, not, not really, I, if I was y'all, I probably wouldn't buy them Unless you're a collector like like me, like I, I guess I gotta have it all, you know, just to complete the collection But if you're, if you're not a real... You know, Yeezy collector, I probably wouldn't get it because um, this cr this colorway is pretty crazy. Not much you can really go with it. It's just a shoe that you just want to. It's just some head turners, something you know. It, it you want to just wear these for mainly the like events and stuff like that. Like kind of like if you want to go like sneaker con or 
some crazy release or something like that. This is the type of shoe you would want to bust out. Anyone that had the Yebras Yibra, and they haven't actually worn them yet, be careful with the sock liner here because even though I wear black joggers, it still bled here on the side. So just be careful with these things, especially with jeans. They're definitely going to bleed all over these things. Uh, I probably will wear these during more in the summertime because you can just wear socks with them and so it won't get as dirty. But you know, like I, but like I said, if, if you guys were going to get these out, I mean, you just wear them with whatever, right? And uh, the sizing wise, these things fit, I feel like they fit uh, about the same as every V2. So I would still say go about half a size to a full size up. Guys, if you guys don't mind, hit that thumbs up. Subscribe if your first time here and comment below. And make sure you hit that bell for all the notifications for when I do drop vid, guys. And also, you know, just comment below what you guys think about these things. I know these things were kind of like half and half. A lot of people were hating on these things. And a lot of people were liking these things. I don't know. I personally like them. But let me know what y'all think. I'm pretty sure y'all things are kind of crazy, right? Alright, yo. I'm Jumpman Chris. Peace.